Hi guys, today we we'll have a look at uh, this uh, aircraft panel. It is from a uh, French uh, military uh, aircraft, but I believe an uh, electronics uh, radio detection aircraft or something like this. A uh, big aircraft anyway. So it is a uh, genera uh, power generator control panel, it seems. So what do we have? We have on this top part, uh, critically one or two, it must stand for gas uh, turbine generator, maybe. You have uh, buttons for uh, switching to generator 5, 6, 7, 8, with uh, total, laser, total buttons, in order to, ask to uh, display here either one of these generators, or a total of uh, both generators to uh, attach probably to a single gas turbine. You have here uh, oil um, overheat lights. It is written in, uh, in French. Search of uh, overheat oil. You have two indicators here. So for both uh, generator groups in a kilovolt amperes and to uh, 250 so it is uh, something quite big in this second part you have uh, LCD ampere meter display backlit with uh, three indicators you have uh, intensity versus uh, nominal intensity indicator up to two you have a volt on board the volt, uh, volt network voltmeter and uh, frequency meter. You can see the nominal is uh, 400 Hz, of course, as it is for uh, aircraft networks. And the nominal here is uh, above uh, 110 and 120. But you have here the buttons to select what you are displaying, it seems. So either you are selecting uh, network A, B and or C. There must be three uh, separate networks in the aircraft. Or either you are, uh, you are uh, selecting one of the uh, generators. So it seems we have uh, eight generators. I don't know what it is for. So it is all for the front uh, side. So on the rear side. Uh, so here you have a big connector. This part is just in order to have it uh, steading, uh, steady because uh, turning steady because it was uh, in uh, on display at some point. So it is made by uh, Sextant Avionic. So a very uh, famous uh, avionics uh, company in France. It is called the Boitier Control Renner Alter. So uh, Austin. Alternator, alternative generators uh, control box, something like this. <coughs> it is made in 1988 uh, and the cyan number is uh, very small. It is written here, do not perform uh, dielectric withstanding on insertion test above 50 volts DC. You have that uh, stamp here, you have a service tag here. So, I will uh, remove the cover and show you the uh, internals. And also remove the front panel. And uh, I will show you how it is uh, behind this front panel because it is quite uh, nicely made, of course. So, oh. here is the back cover removed. You can see the main uh, plug here. It is a very large uh, circular plug with lots of pins but they are very short in fact and very tiny so we have uh, aluminium uh, body on this side you can see some uh, PCBs this must be a connector for the front uh, dis display You have here uh, some filter can from the main connector. You can see all the, uh, these uh, things. It is the uh, capacities of the uh, filters assemblies, it seems, all going into this shielded box. 
Here is a better uh, view of the front side for you. I am adjusting my lights a little. Okay, well, as you can see, it is. Uh, I did make some uh, paint uh, repairs, but I did not find the exact color match. On this side, you have the bodies of the indicators, the dials. I believe I will be able to remove them. Made by Brion Leroux Aeronautique, France. And here you have three, you have three more PCBs with, with, with beautiful stuff. So let me see if I can find the tool for the PCBs. And we will have a look at them. They are quite difficult to remove, if I remember correctly. Yes, so I will remove them off camera. So, first set of PCBs. For you, here you have an EPROM and um, some microprocessor Motorola MC146805 EQL with uh, rusty gold cover, quite strange. You have an hybrid circuit here from uh, National Semiconductors, I think it is. You have uh, some other ICs are military grade, of course. Some uh, MC54 uh, series stuff. This seems to be some uh, power management uh, circuit board, power supply, big inductor. Yes, um, 78 series regula voltage regulators here. And here you have a whole, whole bunch of, uh, it must be yes, diodes in a metal can. 1N6039A uh, diodes. And below it, uh, glass coated. Um, Power resistors, quite a strange setup. You can see the circuit bars have a number on them. Bottle cap here. So I will remove the next ones. So with the big circuit bars removed, we can see the sockets for the uh, Indicator dials, quite interesting uh, sockets. And here is the motherboard to uh, which the PCBs are connected. So, we have a set of circuit boards, the smaller ones. Here we have a bunch of uh, ARIS integrated circuits. E1508-5 uh, uh, 1L maybe don't know what they are and uh, lots of uh, precision resistance very nice ones it seems some resistor networks also here we have two more golden uh, Motorola things MC146623L, mm, two of them. So you can see the circuit numbers anyway. This is uh, not possible to read, it must be an autocoupler. Here we have uh, five trimmers and a bunch of uh, probably op amps, not sure. LF3498. I believe this must be for um, trimming the five uh, dials on the front panel. Fine uh, calibration of the dials. Here you have some uh, ULN2003 MC14042 BCL. 
and MC went for 555BC are they uh, 555 timers? dual timers maybe? and uh, on this one uh, same stuff ok so I will put the, them back in place I will have a look behind the front uh, panel I did remove uh, these four front panel screws and guess what guys the front panel comes right off it is a really really nice construction so look at this it is a solid uh, aluminium plate so this PCB is here, it's just holding the buttons with, uh, together with a uh, LCD panel small bulbs to ba for buttons backlight as you can see they are not LEDs, they are bulbs and uh, it is pretty much everything so I will not take it uh, further apart you can see it is really 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 nicely made say a number written here so really get code here so ok so this is a small LCD quite interesting the manufacturer of the PCB here so grapho is written and uh, this part here you can see the input uh, connector uh, module with uh, all the wires going to the motherboard these small uh, dials so they seem to be galvanometric and uh, they seem to be all the same so you remove one of them you can see the insides, it is really nicely made in a clear body so guys, here is a zoom up for you everything you can see it is a clear uh, plastic cylinder this cover is screwed in place you have golden pins for the con making the contact you turn like uh, a computer pins, a soft rubber pad here and uh, this o-ring here is for mechanical purpose to uh, fit against the cover of the, 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 the control box so really really it is a nice piece of kit I got it from uh, eBay of course as always for uh, I believe it was uh, 40 or 50 euros, something like that. It was not very, very cheap, but it was well worth it. And since there is no backlight integrated into these things, okay, so here we have our this. So you can see if a uh, motherboard arrangement with uh, the wires going to out from this. Uh, box, filter box probably it is a solder the closed so I cannot open it I think and you can see the very very thick uh, frame in, uh, made of aluminium for the instrument ok so zoom for you it is quite incredible here is a nice uh, background for you, computer background maybe like this so I will close it uh, again and uh, I will put it back together now as you can see it is really a nice piece of kit thanks for watching more things Bye -bye. I forgot to tell you so this Fix, uh, fittings here are uh, thus fit quarter turn uh, fittings you turn uh, one uh, quarter and it fits into a ray with uh, holes on the steel wire I have a part for it somewhere maybe I can try to find it 
So while I'm speaking, on here you have a small reset button. Don't know what it is for. It must be for resetting when you mess with the buttons. Maybe and it does not uh, respond anymore. So here is a part of uh, this rail from the uh, overhead panel. They come in very very long uh, rails like this, uh, and they fit like this on the instrument. So they are quite hard to get. In fact, cockpit builders uh, love them a lot. So and you just quarter turn the screws here, and it locks very very nicely into place. So here you are just two, but when it is riveted on the side and on all the length, it is really, really good. And very secure for keeping the instruments in, in place. Here is how it looks like from the rear side when it is uh, fitted. And if I unfit them, the small groove in the rotating part will just uh, match the wire and become loose. So it is really, really. I believe it was invented by. Uh, I don't know who did did use first. It maybe it was Boeing. It is American company uh, anyway. And thus, it is quite old. It, it is from the 60s or no, early 70s. It was invented, and it is still used uh, today. I believe this is a quarter inch. Between each hole, this must be one inch. Yes, probably. So, here we are. Thanks for watching.